Hello guys. I'm in the car right now with Junes. And I'm going to go get my nails off. I have had these nails on. I'm gonna try to get a focus, but again, we're in the car, so it might be a little bit hard. I've had these nails on for over seven weeks and they're, it's bad. It's real bad. Um, so I'm getting them taken off and I'm not getting them put back on because these are gel X like extensions. But I'm not getting them put on because, back on because my nail girl said that my nails are getting to be a little bit thin just because I've had these gel X extensions on for like, I think almost a year, like November will be a year. And she says that every year she tells her clients like to take one month off. So I really should have done this before my surgery because like I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't filming anything, but I was just very busy. So I didn't do it. And now this is what we're left with. So I'm getting them taken off today. I can't put anything on. Like I can't even put clear nail polish on for two weeks, she said. So... That's what we're going to go do today. And then also I asked you guys on my Instagram story if I should get the silver or the black AirPod. I hate calling them AirPod Maxes. Like it literally is so dumb. So I'm gonna call them error. I don't even know. Like the over the Figure. look Figure. there. It's literally AirPods. Uh there's a bill, there's a billboard right there. But the bigger headphones and I was like, I really want to get the silver because I feel like they're more like aesthetic, but I was like, should I get the black or the silver? And a lot of you guys did say the silver, but I got so many messages being like, I have the silver and I regret it because they just get so dirty, especially with self tanner. And even if you don't wear self tanner, like makeup, because the cloth on the inside of the headphone, um, it gets really, really dirty. and. It I feel like leather would be easier to clean, but I, okay. So then I had a flashback and I actually have had white over the ear headphones by Beats, like probably five, over five years ago. And they were so dirty with self tanner and with makeup. So I'm going to maybe get the black. This is all just maybe because I really don't want to spend that much money on headphones. But I just thought that I would if I would just thought that I would tell you guys if you guys are thinking about either the silver or any other color just be weary because they will get makeup on them. I got a Kindle yesterday. I'm so excited because I'm in my um, I'm in my reading era, you know, I'm just trying to be a little bookworm and I got the Kindle. Uh, I did the Kindle Oasis, but I get the eight gigabyte one um it ended up being like around 220 dollars oh my god i thought that was a bird <laughs> it was a trash it was a trash bag um but the i was gonna get the 32 for some reason i don't know why um but that wasn't shipping for six weeks i think like maybe there's like shipping issues with that one but then we looked up the eight gigabyte one and that one holds like two thousand books and i'm I probably am not going to read 2000 books in my lifetime. So I got the eight and it was around like 220. So I was a lot happy about that because I don't think I have anything else to say, but we're going to have short naked nails coming up for the next two weeks. But after the two weeks of having no nail polish on, I can then put on um, regular nail polish for the next two weeks and then I can get the gel X put back on. So. That's, that's what we're doing right now. Um, and then I'm gonna go to Sephora. So hopefully, maybe I'll have a Sephora haul for you guys after I'm done. I've never seen this before. Like the best one this is the plant whipping cream. It tastes, it tastes like, it tastes, it tastes good. It's the only one that doesn't taste like that stupid coconut. Literally tastes just like cream. Yeah, what's it made out of? All right guys, so I just got back from the nail salon. These are the nails. They look good. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. It was touch and go in there for a minute. Um, so she's taking off my nails and she's like, so she like did like the drill. She drilled them 
And then she took out a plastic tip, like a plastic nail tip and started like going underneath the gel extension and like trying to lift it up that way. And it was just really sus. And like, if I wanted to do that, I could have just ripped off my nails at home, you know? So after the second one that she did, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, like, I don't like, is there another way to take these off? Cause like, it was straight up bootleg. And so she was like, oh, does it hurt? And I was like, yeah, you're like ripping off my nail. So she was like, okay, like I'll, I'll like drill them down even more. So then she did that and that's how they came out. They actually look really good, but because my nails are so thin right now, like I feel like I can't really do anything with them. So I am actually going to cut them down even shorter. Like they're gonna be cut like kind of like this one because it's not focusing, but they're gonna be kind of cut. They're gonna be cut like really, really short, like this one. Um, because I don't like I don't like the feeling of them. But while I do that, I'm going to show you guys my Sephora order. Okay, the first thing that I got is this Tower 28 SOS Daily Rescue Facial Spray. I have seen this all over TikTok and they say that if your face gets red, it's really good for it and it says um that's really just it's good for just like stressed out skin. And it's really good to like soothe, purify and renew. Um, and I thought that that would be good to like spray on my neck because my neck is still really, really like tight and red and just like, like kind of like parched. Like it feels like it's just like so tight from my surgery. So I thought like maybe if I sprayed this on like morning and night, that would be good. Um, it says, I think this is clean also. Like I think the Tower 28 is clean. Um, I don't know. Oh yeah, okay. So it says that um, hypo, all right, it says that hypochlorous acid maximizes your, your good skin days, reducing the appearance of redness and supporting skin's renewal process. It's good for um, all skin types, especially if you have sensitive skin. It's vegan, cruelty-free, alcohol-free, oil-free, and fragrance-free. And I'm just gonna spray some. Kind of smells like Nothing, it kind of just smells like water. Um, okay, then the next few purchases are influenced by Delaney Childs, I'm not gonna lie. I got the YSL New Bare Look Tint and I didn't know what shade I wanted um, because I have not self tanned in almost three weeks. So the girl was like, do you want me to color match you? And I was like, not to this color, no, but I do have a favorite foundation, the Dior Air Flash. So she color matched me to that one. Um, I am shade 3WO in that one. And so she said that I would be eight, but it looked a little bit dark. So I just wanted to pick up both seven and eight so that I can just try them out. And then whichever one doesn't work, either I'm gonna return it or I probably won't return it. I'll probably just use it. And then I also got the Lash Clash Mascara from YSL as well. And this is also a purchase because of Delaney. Um, she was wearing this on our vacation in France and it literally looked like she had fake eyelashes on. Like it was insane. So shout out to Delaney. I'm gonna be trying this out. Also, she said it's really good that it doesn't like flake or anything like that. So I love that. And then I only have two more items. I have been looking, searching for the um, Rare Beauty blush. I didn't know what shade to get, so I decided to get two. These were like the last two in the store that like weren't purple. I can never open these things, especially with these nails that I have right now. So the Rare Beauty blush in Hope. It's very, it's like a light mauve kind of. I'm gonna swatch it. I heard that these are like insanely pigmented, so you only need like a tiny little bit of, of blush for the entire 
you know, mask that I do. And then we also got the shade Bliss, I think. They look really, really similar. The Hope one that I just swatched on my hand, this one is a dewy blush. And then this one is Bliss, and this one is supposed to be a matte blush. So I'm going to swipe this one as well. So Hope and I'm going to swatch them even more so that you guys can see them. Okay, this one is Bliss, and then I'll do this one again. I really like the packaging though, like the top is super cute to me. I mean, yeah, they're really similar. But the top one, the top one is definitely a little bit more mauve pink and then the bottom one is a little bit more like peachy pink. I'm gonna let them like dry down. I'm gonna see if I can tell the difference between the um, dewy one and then the matte one. While I clip the rest of my nails. I really don't wanna clip them. I don't really like clipping my nails, but ugh. Sensory things have been wigging me out lately and I'm usually not like that. Like I can't even put stuff on, I can't even put like my products on my neck right now because I still like get like the heebie-jeebies of like touching this area, even though like it doesn't hurt. I don't know. I was pleasantly surprised at how inexpensive taking off my nails was because I haven't ever like taken them off and not gotten a manicure after. And so I was afraid that they didn't take cards. So I was like, John, can I have some money? Uh, Cause he has like cash on him. And he was like, well, how much do you need? And I was like, I don't know, like $50 maybe. And he was like, okay. And then it was only 15 and I was like, oh, sweet. This is my haul. And I feel like I'm gonna be really, really happy with this entire haul. I might return one of these and maybe one of these, but since they are different, like matte versus dewy, I probably will keep both of these cause they're really pretty. All right guys, we're gonna show you guys how John makes his fabulous street corn. So basically all he did so far was, what did you do so far? You like stripped these? Cut it these? off the cop. Cut it off the cop. You can clearly tell that I cook a lot. Cut it off the cop, got it. And then I'm browning it. I don't know if I, the right like angle or whatever. Do, I, do you need the pedestal? Thank you. Both in track No. Okay. So I'm gonna brown the corn and then um, put it in a bowl and mix it with dairy free creamer or you can use sour cream, chili powder, cojita cheese, and some lemon and lime, and a little bit of tahini. And that's it. It's really simple. This is like one of my favorite things that John makes. It's so good. So we're just browning it a little. It brings out like the sweetness. It's regular, just sweet corn. Yeah. Yeah. Corn. Put it in a nice big bowl. Like so. How long little, did you cook that for? A little bit of color. Like five uh, minutes? Yeah, until it gets colored, five minutes. We have dairy-free creamer, but you can use anything that's cream. So basically, they have um, like Mexican uh, sour cream. You can use regular sour cream, and it's just like a tiny bit. So like that's plenty. That's like a tablespoon. Mm, yeah. Maybe less. Oh, I think it was like one. And then... I'm gonna use some lemons. So one whole lemon. So for four corns, I do one whole lemon and one whole lime. Blake likes it really lemony, so. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you can make it as lemony or lamy as you want. You might need more. Wait, dinner. this like seems really easy. It is. Like I could almost make this probably. Yeah. Then you 
Mix it up a little. And then just regular chili powder. You don't have to go crazy with it, just top it like that. A little tiny bit of tahini. And you can always put in more cheese, more chili powder, more of whatever you like, more sour cream. But I try not to use the sour cream because that's probably the only unhealthy part of the whole thing. So yeah. this is pretty, pretty healthy, I think. And you just cook the corn in oil? Yep, just in vegetable oil. Vegetable oil, okay. Ta-da. And then... The tops, probably the easiest thing to make. Yeah. I, I honestly didn't know, because John usually just makes it and I have zero participation in it. Um, Cause I'm either like doing something, I don't know, whatever. But this is the first time that I've seen him make it. And I'm like, I'm like kind of shocked. Like I can make this and I can't make anything basically. No, I think it's good. I don't think... It's come. It's come. Big lumps, knobs, it has a juice, it has a juice. It's the most beautiful thing. All right, guys, we are going to get our Botox touched up. Um, my forehead, you can't really tell, but she needs a little touch up. She needs a little touch up. And I'm also getting my scar lasered. I'll show you guys a better picture. But this, these are our outfits. Oh. These are our outfits. We're going to Miss Jen Hollander and bye Dinky. All right guys, so I'm numbing. John doesn't do any numbing, but I want to show you guys his forehead because his wrinkles are a lot more pronounced than mine. And then. Squint your eyes a little bit. No, it's better like this. No, I know, but squint your eyes now. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, don't do that. Yeah, like that. Yeah, like that. That's good. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, okay, so mine is not as prominent, but, like, you can't really see. Also, I have numbing cream on, but, oh, yeah. Like, yeah, th this is probably, like, the worst that I've had in a minute, but, um, so we're going to do some Dysport. It's actually not Botox. It's Dysport. Um, and then I'm also getting my skin. I'm also getting my scar lasered. I feel like um, in the last few days, it's gotten a little bit more red, which I'm wondering if it's because I'm not putting enough sunscreen on it, even though like I'm never really outside. Um, but maybe just in the house, I need to like reapply the sunscreen on it because I'm wondering if that's why, but we're gonna get it lasered today. I'm not sure how many laser treatments I have to do, but Jen will go over all of that. So yeah. Yes, you can follow you with back drainage. No. So lymphatic drainage. Because when I, whenever I like touch this area, I get like crazy. Okay. So they're like literally touching you like this. Because the okay. system is very superficial. Okay. So if they actually go too deep, nothing's happening. Okay. Okay. Um, how many weeks has it been? Today or yesterday is three weeks. You can do it. Okay. I will. They, it's very gentle. Yeah. And all they're doing is they're facilitating the movement. Of and you the sent lens. me the girl, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Yeah, she's in Brentwood. Okay. Brentwood. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Smile big. Because you said not to do the eyes. Oh. Because okay. I'm still a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm still a little bit. Um, that's right. No. Right. Okay. Yeah. But okay. I, yeah, that we can definitely. Yeah. John, do you need diamonds? No, it should be okay. You're good? Yeah, I think we did it last time with that. It, was, yeah. okay, it just great. doesn't feel the greatest, but it's okay. <laughs> Let me just draw it up first so that okay. we can keep them. Okay. So, and that kind of contraction that happens with heat. It's mm -hmm. the heat that causes that shrinkage. Mm -hmm. So, like, all the shadows in the face that were bothering you that you wanted to fill mm -hmm. are improved with the Wow. Okay. And a lot, oh my God, and the quality of the skin. So the things that give your skin its color okay. are the hydratory layers of the tissue. Okay. More hydration, skin looks brighter, more youthful, more buoyant. Okay. Wonderful. So do you think that I even need to continue with the Clarin Brilliance and stuff or am um, I just... 
I might do something for needling for you. Okay. I think that's gonna be your ticket. Okay. Because all we wanna do at this point, your pigment is in very good condition. Okay. Like, you look great, like you don't have any pigment. Okay. In the beginning when you first came and saw me, yeah. you had a lot of pigment on your face. Yeah. Some sun damage. Um, so now let's just work on the skin quality, fine lines. Yeah, fine lines um, for sure. And just, you know, helping to introduce as much hydration to the skin yep. and plumping. That's it. Cool. Um, and then we maintain. Um... Now, when you get. Is it, what's the CO2 laser do? Um, it's a very deep resurfacing laser mm -hmm. um, that makes micro channels into the tissue mm -hmm. um, to introduce new tissue and uh, kind of help to smooth out the scar so it's less defined. Does it do color too or is that something different? No, no, it won't do it. It'll m mainly for texture. Got it. Yeah. And then um, for her at this stage, is any like scar massage a little bit recommended or no? Probably wait on it. Honestly, more just the lens thing. Incisions are so clean. Yeah, I noticed. Yeah, you never really have to massage. There's no hypertrophy unless, of course, there's some pre-existing like right keloiding or yeah, something. Which genetic. Yeah, which doesn't really happen on the face. It usually happens on the body. Yeah, I don't even know what keloiding. It's a, hyper, a hypertrophic um, scar. Something right, that something that I see all the time. It's gonna be so easy because you're nice. So small. You okay. Mm -hmm. In the snow. It's fun. Flesh. Flesh burning. It's like a tattoo removal thing. Looks like the little like dots that you see. Done. Alright guys, I am heading to the dentist's office, Dr. Najad. We're gonna check on my Invisalign. I should have like a few more weeks left, um, but we might shave down in the middle again. Um, I will have like a full, oh, by the way, if I look a little scary down here, I put a lot of like sunscreen. Also, we're gonna do a little check on the scar, it has aquaphor and also a slab of SPF because I don't want it to turn red when I'm driving. And you guys are like, you guys are probably like, when you're driving, where are you driving to? You never drive. John went to get his tux made today for the wedding. It's so funny because he's probably gonna have a tux. I mean, he's definitely gonna have a tux before I'm gonna have a dress. And that's just like, that's just like, a perfect picture of our relationship. He just does everything so far in advance and I wait till the last minute and somehow we're the perfect match. Um, so yeah, we both have dentist appointments at the same time, but he had to go and do that and I had to come and I had to stay back and film, but I'm on my way there now. This is my outfit. Guys, these jeans are the most comfortable jeans that I have ever put on my body. They are from, sorry, they are from YMI. So they're, I think they're like $30 with my code, but they are, but they're so freaking good. They are like, they have this elastic in the back. I don't know if you guys can see that, but oh my gosh. Like I could literally wear these pants on the airplane. That's how comfortable they are. I don't really know if this is focusing, but yeah, I love them so much. Dinky, you're staying here. Mommy's got to go. Also this shirt, I think it's like Target from 10 years ago and my Boston Burks. So yeah, see you at the dentist. Yeah. So, so basically, I think we should take a scan and put attachment on if you're willing to do that. I mean, and then how long would the attachment be? until it gets to where we want. So, I mean, optimistically, six, or six to eight weeks or something. Like, let's say okay. five, like, well, five or six trays pushes, you know, the same amount of push that we have here, mm -hmm. but with attachments on will be more effective. Okay. So I'd, I'd say like six to eight weeks, but right. um, we can also just try a little, you know, try a few more weeks with that. I mean, it's up to you. Like, as long as if it's time that's the most important thing, mm. then we should get straight to it. 
right. if it's trying to avoid attachment at all costs on those days, yeah. then let's try a few more weeks. You know, the other ones will continue to push a little bit, but I'm not optimistic it's going to be the end of it. You know, I mean, yeah. I'm pretty sure by the end of no matter what you do, if we we're don't put that time, we're going to have to come back do and do anyway. that. And I don't think she, like, if you say I want you to shave it, I'll do it, but we'll simulate it, make sure you like it. Mm -hmm. I just think proportionally we lose the benefit right. that we gain by slendering the two. So yeah. I would be, if it were me, I'd try to be pushing it up more. Okay. And then only doing a little bit of adjustment, just literally very little as needed. Good morning, guys. So we are going to the like a vintage market in Topanga, which is about like 30, maybe 40 minutes away. So I'm getting ready right now. Um, Michelle came over last night and we did like some wedding planning stuff. Like we picked out some flowers and um, we played some bands and we talked about wedding dresses and stuff like that. We looked at like accommodations for her and the girls. Um, I'm feeling a little bit better now that she came over and we talked, you know, um, just cause it's, I don't really, I'm indecisive guys. I really am. I'm so indecisive about everything wedding, just everything in my life. I just, I can't make a decision to save my life. I can't even, I can't even decide like where I want to eat for dinner, let alone an entire wedding. So she came over and she helped me. Um, and now I'm getting ready. We're going to go to that market. My skin has been really dry. So I am using this SkinCeuticals Epidermal Repair um, that Jen Hollander, refer Jen Hollander told me to get. And apparently it's supposed to be a little bit more moisturizing than the elastin skin nectar which i mean this was hydrating but my skin was just feeling so parched throughout the day so i've been using this for a few days and i like it i also like the tube like how fun is that um i got my scar laser i told you guys but she's looking pretty gnarly still i didn't really know what to expect it didn't hurt at all like i thought it was gonna hurt even just slightly, and it didn't hurt at all, which is really nice. Um, they put numbing on me and it was over in probably five seconds. Like I'm not even exaggerating. Um, also, she told me to get lymphatic drainage in my face. And I think I'm gonna try to book that next week because she said that it helps a lot with the swelling. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell. I mean, you probably can, but like my jowls are just like so swollen. So hopefully when I book that, I will be a little bit less swollen and I can kind of see the results a little bit better. John and I have been watching about the Thailand cave rescue that happened in 2018. And like, oh my gosh, we're obsessed with it. We think it's like absolutely fascinating. We watched the movie 13 Lives. I can't remember what it's on. I think it's just on Apple TV. Um, but we watched it and we were just like absolutely fascinated. So now we're watching a documentary on it, which is on Disney. We didn't get through the whole thing before we fell asleep last night, but we're really excited to continue watching it. Those guys are insane. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there were 13 boys that were trapped in a cave in um, Thailand uh, for like 17 days without like food or water. And then everyone like, like basically in the world like came together and like tried these like different tactics to get them out. And then there was these like extreme cave divers that were like, let's go in and try to get them. And even they had a hard time, but then they finally got to them. And then they were like, how are we gonna get them out? Like, this is like, this is even hard for us to do. Like, how are we gonna get like 13, like 10 to like 12 year old boys out of this cave and I won't like ruin it, even though it's a real life thing, but basically they had to do something that was like unethical and they didn't know if they were gonna survive and like all this stuff and they did survive. Everyone survived except for one Navy SEAL. Um, so yeah, pretty cool, pretty interesting. Um, and so this is my scar. This is about how many days after? About four days after. 
I was able to put makeup on it uh, the day after I got it done, although I have not put makeup on it yet. I'm just putting like a slab of Aquaphor on uh, twice to three times a day, but I'm going to maybe try to put some makeup on it today. Just like a little bit of like tinted uh, stuff on it just so that it's not as red when I go to the market. I also have to shoot a little bit today. I made three more dress appointments for next week because I'm getting like kind of down to the wire and I'm getting a little bit nervous. Okay guys, this is John's Botox update. It's been like 10 days, so let's see it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, cute. Hi. Okay, I wanna show you guys. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's quite a bit later um, in life than this vlog took place. Uh, it's probably like two weeks later, but I wanted to let the Botox set in and like show you guys. Um, but I also wanted to show you guys what we got from the vintage market. It was really cool, but it was so freaking hot that it was really hard to enjoy um, because we were like sweltering. It's in the valley. So if you know anything about the valley, it's like so freaking hot. Um, but it was like 110 degrees. So we kind of like went down one to two aisles, and, or not one to two, probably like probably like half of it. And then we were like, okay, let's, <laughs> let's get a move on it. Um, but I want to show you two of the shirts that I got. This one's actually wet right now because I was washing it. And then I was like, wait, I want to show them what I got. Um, so this vintage Harley tee. So it's kind of like, it's a little bit lighter than this color right now because this is like wet. Um, and then I also got this cool camel tee. Not that I'm like promoting smoking, but it was really cool. So I got this as well. Um, and then John got a shirt too. Um, but I don't know where his is, is it, eh, where his is right now. Um, and then I also wanted to show you guys the Botox. So I usually get Botox in the crow's feet, but my face from my surgery is still pretty numb. Like this side is not bad. I can like feel most of this, but like this side, when I do this, it like has little like tinglies. Um, so it's definitely still numb. So I didn't do any around the eyes until this is like completely unnumb, back to normal, I guess. Um, but in between my eyebrows I did, and then up here. So yeah, or guys, I did, um, I always call it Botox. We did Dysport, but um, usually I just call it Botox. So sorry about that. Um, so yeah, that is the end of this vlog. I have a few more YouTube videos coming up soon and I really wanna do a giveaway at the end of this video. So all you have to do is follow me on here and on Instagram and then leave a comment, any type of comment you want, um, but just make sure that you leave your handle in the comment, your handle for Instagram, because that's how I'm going to, going to be able to contact you guys. Um, but yeah, oh, also I still have the short nails. I'm getting them done, I believe, next week. So gonna be back to fun nails. But yeah, I have a few YouTube videos coming up like in the pipeline right now. So yeah, I'm getting back to filming with my jawline surgery. I'll also do an update in the next vlog, but I have to run over to Michelle's right now because I need to help her film something. So I'm kind of like strapped for time, but. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to comment um, anything with your handle for a beauty giveaway. Okay, bye guys, love you.